Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is interpreting the unit rate as slope. We'll find out in this lesson that unit rate and slope are the same thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So there's our, our common core stand, uh, strand for our most grooviest teachers, and so our question is how do we interpret the unit rate as the slope? They are the same. All right, so uh, as we uh, dive into this lesson, we're going to be coming across equations um, uh, of this form, y equals mx. Now, m is our slope. Do you remember that from the, the last lesson and before that? So m is always our slope. So, for example, we might see y equals 2.75x, okay? And here, the, um, uh, these are in the form of y equals mx plus b that we'll discover when you take Integrated Math 1, if you haven't already discovered that. I think it's Lesson 6.1 in our textbook. Anyways, um, b is equal to 0. This is like putting a plus 0 in here. So if I, uh, like this, you know, y equals 2.75x, if I just did uh, plus 0, plus 0, they, they don't write the 0. So it's the same as y equals 2.75x, so where b is equal to that 0 right there, okay? So um, when they give you that, you guys, it's much faster, more efficient to just recognize, hey, that number is my slope right there, okay? Your textbook's going to say draw a table and make some, you know, other reasoning to figure out what's the slope, but that's your slope is staring right at you. That's your slope, which is your unit rate, okay? We'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, the b equals 0 means it's going through the origin, 0, 0, okay? Don't worry about that yet, but you're going to come across these, and that's my slope, that little dude right there, the number in front, as long as it's y equals uh, some number x, okay? It has to be an x in there. All right, so uh, relating the unit rate to slope, a rate is a comparison of two quantities that have different units, such as miles and hours, like you know, I drive 55 miles per hour as, I, as I'm commuting to work. So a unit rate is a rate in which the second quantity, so in this case per hour, is 1. So I drive 55 miles per 1 hour. That's what miles per hour means. So for every hour I should be going about 55 miles. Okay, so something like that. Here's an example. A storm is raging on Sammy Mountain. So the graph shows the constant rate of change of the snow level in the mountain. Now remember, uh, unit rate is the same as the slope. So I can find the slope by doing rise over run. Okay, we can pick any two points. And let's look at this, you guys. Sammy Mountain. So we want to know where is this value equal to 1. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe right there, 1, comma, 2, maybe. We'll, we'll figure that out. I don't know. Okay, but this is the time and this is in hours. Over here, snowfall in inches. And the title of this graph is Sammy Mountain Storm. Okay, always got to have all that stuff. So let's find the points uh, of the slope or find the slope using those points right there. Remember slope formula? We do y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So the second y minus the first y over the second x minus the first x. Okay, do you remember that? The x's go on bottom because the x's have, I'm holding up my my, uh, my two arms right here, and my, the x's have two legs. They can hold up the y's better. That's why the x's go on bottom. I know, corny. Okay, so uh, at 10 minus 2 is 8. 5 minus 1 is 4, so we get 8 over 4, okay, which equals uh, 2. Okay, so that's our slope right there. Our slope equals 2. All right, so uh, let's keep going here. Oh, boy, my computer's being weird. So find the unit rate of snowfall in inches per hour and explain. Let me just slide that up right there. Okay, so um, 2 inches per hour. So this point right here, here's per hour. Here's 1 hour right here, and so it's giving me 2 inches right there. Okay, so 2 inches per 1 hour. Okay, so the unit rate is always when... And, it, and this is typically the time, or, um, uh, yeah, this is usually the time down here. So it's always in terms of when is this 1, what's this value right here? So this is the point 1, 2 is on the line, so 2 inches per hour. So 2 inches of snowfall in 1 hour is going to be our unit rate. We get 2 inches every 1 hour. So compare the slope of the graph 
which we got right here by doing slope formula from these two points right here. Compare the slope of the graph, which is 2, and the unit rate, which is also 2. What did you notice? Well, they're just the same right there, okay? All right, so let's keep going. Whoops, I just slid all that stuff down so I can fit in D right here. So, so what unique point of this graph can represent the slope? Uh, of the graph and the unit rate of change um, in the in the not show level snow level that should say snow sorry that's I just need to change that so anyways in the snow level all right so uh, uh, what we can do is um, uh, this point right here is our point our magic point right here so let's go ahead and answer that question so. 1, 2, the unit rate is the amount of snow per hour. So to find the, not show per hour, snow per hour, there we go. Uh, so to find the point where the x coordinate uh, is 1 right here, that's our unit right there. So when is this x coordinate? This is always my x axis right here. Okay, so when is this 1? And this is going to be at 2 right here. So that point 1, 2. Uh, is our point that we're looking for uh, and it's a, a another point on the graph gives us to a slope so we can find the slope by using slope formula with these two points but the unit rate of change is always when this is one and how much does it go up it's at two so that's the unit rate of change two over one uh, rise over run all right so we're going to graph proportional relationships so if you hear my rooster in the background that's uh we call him colonel for colonel sanders so I wanted to call him Cluck Norris, but <laughs> why said that Colonel Sanders? Anyways, uh, he's out calling his girls. We got four chickens out there, and so he's he's out uh, showing off anyway. So sorry. So uh, uh, w uh, we can use a table. Golly, another typo. Dang it, dang it. I'm so sorry, you guys. So we can use a table uh, uh, or a graph to find the unit rate of change and slope that describes a real world uh, proportional relationship. So the constant of proportionality for a proportional relationship, but we'll have tongue twisters, is the same as the slope, okay? So so the um, our constant of proportionality is going to be the same as the slope, which is the same as the unit rate of change, okay? All right, so uh, every three seconds, there's a kernel out there, every three seconds four cubic um, uh, feet of water pass over the dam okay which one is going to be uh, the x-axis okay usually the time is the x-axis so this is going to represent x this is going to represent y so it says draw a graph so i'm going to put the time down here in seconds on the x-axis and the cubic feet of water on the y-axis okay and then find the unit rate of change of this proportional relationship so we just need to find the slope okay so here we go so first make a graph. Okay, so remember you guys, um, um, uh, or first make a table. Okay, your book is suggesting make a table. So uh, remember, um, uh, the time is always our x and the other portion is y because the volume totally depends on the time right here. Okay, so here's x and y right here. All right, so, um, so it says for every three seconds, four cubic feet. So let's put in three and four right there, okay? All right, so we do that, and then we're going to just go another three plus three is going to be six, and then four plus four is going to be eight. <laughs> Uh, and then just add 3, add 4, add 3, add 4, and so on right there, okay? So let me just slide that up. And then now let's make a graph, okay? So this is going to be for uh, the water going over the dam. So that's going to be my title, water over the dam. <laughs> and then down here on the x-axis is the time in seconds, and over here is the volume. It's going to be uh, the cubic feet right there, okay? So there it is right there, okay? So so let's go ahead and graph these points. So what I'm going to do is um, go over 3, up 4. So let's see, this graph is going by 2's, so over 3 would be right there, and up 4, 2, 4. I'll put a point right there. And then over 6, up 8, okay? 2, 4, 6, up uh, eight and so on so let's go ahead and make those points right there draw the graph right there okay now uh, remember the slope and the unit rate of change are the same and so that's what they want us is find the unit rate of this proportional relationship now <laughs> uh, maybe i'll shut my eyes just right outside my window and it's a, a delightful day with a breeze so i got my window open in the morning 
All right, so we have a graph. So the slope is uh, rise over run. You can pick any two points, rise over run. I think I picked the, I don't know, whatever points I picked. What did I do? So, so rise over run. Oh, I picked those guys. Okay, so it goes up 8 over 6. You could have picked any other two points right there. Okay, 8 over 6 is 4 over 3. So that is our slope, and that is our unit rate of change. So 4 thirds cubic feet per 1 second. That's why it's unit per one second. See right here it's kind of hard to see on the graph. Okay, one is right here. How much is it up? Well, it's kind of hard to see. It's actually up four thirds. And so what we had to do is find the slope because that's the same as our unit rate of change. And proportional just means it always goes through the origin right there. Okay, so all these graphs in this lesson are going through the origin. All right, so here's another one. Tom rides his bike at a steady rate of four miles every six minutes. So graph this situation. Okay, so remember, you guys, um, uh, the time is what goes down on the x-axis. So I'm going to put the x-axis uh, down here. So the minutes go down here and the miles are going to go up here. So let's graph this situation of Tom's bike ride and then find the unit rate of this. Okay, so here it is right there. Okay, so uh, so right here is the time right here. So what I'm going to do is go um, uh, over six because for six minutes we'll go over six right there. These are going by ones. It's going up to four. So let's go ahead and put that point and then graph our, our graph right there. Okay. And then so find the unit rate of change. Okay. So the slope is the same as the unit rate of change. So we just go, how much does it go up? It goes up four over six. So rise over run is four over six, which is two thirds. So our unit rate of change is going to be two thirds of a mile per minute. Okay. All right, so remember, you guys, your X is always your time right here, whether it's in seconds or hours or minutes or whatever, okay? And that's always your time. So we can compare proportional relationships presented in different ways, okay? So, so here, this is what I said in the beginning, you guys, with that Y equals MX, okay? So the equation Y equals 2.75X, there's our slope, um, represents the rate in barrels per hour. Uh, that oil is pumped from uh, well A. Okay, so this is well A. It gives us the equation right here. And then the graph over here is well B right here. Okay, so here's the slope. We're going to find the slope of this. And then it says uh, which pump is pumping oil faster. Okay, so this is going to be barrels per hour. Okay, so this one's 2.75 barrels per hour. Okay, we just got to find the slope of well B. Okay, so there's our slope of uh, well A. Okay, let me slide that up right there. So let's do rise over run to find the slope of well B. So rise over run is going to give us a uh, uh, and I just picked a point that I felt uh, that looked like it went through a nice ordered pair right there, like that guy right there. So this one goes up 10 over 4. Remember, every one is going by 2s. So 10 over 4, yes, that reduces to 5 over 2. But since this is in a decimal, we can just do 10 divided by 4 and get 2.5. So it's doing 2.5 barrels per hour. So which one's uh, pump is pumping more oil faster? Well, uh, well, A is because it's bigger than uh, well B's uh, uh, unit rate on that. Okay, one more, you guys. All right, so here, the equation Y equals 3.75X. There's our slope. There's our unit rate. Represents the relationship between X, which is the time uh, that a plane flies in hours. Now, remember, if you're ever given a table, this is always X and this is always Y right here, okay? So remember, X is always your time right here, so in this case it's in hours. The table above shows the relationship for plane B. Well look, here's a one right here. So this is my unit rate for plane B. So this is 425, the unit rate of this guy is 375. Um, miles per hour right here so so it's asking which plane is flying at a faster rate okay well okay so the slope or the unit rate of plane of uh, uh, the plane speed for plane A is 375 miles per hour and then plane B is 425 miles per hour so plane B is is going faster all right you guys hope that lesson makes sense and take care